Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we are on the Chattahoochee River, specifically the Upper Chattahoochee, Chattahoochee WMA. Uh, tons of trout fishermen here. One time it came here, I counted like over 50 trout fishermen uh, in parts, so there's probably more like 100 trout fishermen. And we're just gonna see what snagged on the bottom and what trout fishermen are losing, what kind of spinner baits, hooks, terminal tackle, whatever, or not even terminal tackle that people are losing. So with that said, let's dive on in. And a tiny foot. Oh my gosh, y'all see this rig? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think this spot is like just deep enough that when people get snagged over there, they're like, screw it, I don't want to like soak my pants and everything so they don't come this far out. But uh, there's probably a bunch of stuff out here. I like this spot a lot. So I just realized this in the editing process, but there is a spinnerbait literally an inch from my fingers. Ugh, it just goes to show you how many times you can pass through an area. I passed here already two times and just not find everything. So, according to the Fishes of Georgia website that I created a spreadsheet out of, uh, bluefin stone roll should be the only one that exists in here. And according to the Peterson Field Guide, bluefin stone roller occurs right there. This a uh, tiny yellow sliver. So actually, it might be the stone roller with the smallest range. Oh, Highland. So I've caught 
large scale, central, bluefin. Now I need Mexican and Highland to complete the Gapostoma conquest. Which way do you want to go, buddy? This ain't the river. There you go. Nope, wrong direction. There you go. There it is. Well, I bet someone was frustrated when they lost this. They could just see it from over there. <laughs> so the third spot worked out pretty dang good, but the fourth spot did not work out as well as I thought it would. Uh, so now we're heading down out of the WMA into the town of Roberts, Robertstown, I think, uh, just north of Helen. And this is a little pull off I've seen people trout fishing at. I've seen trout swimming around in there, so we're just gonna give it a snorkel and see what we can't find. Also, the Cool River Tubing, the tubing company, massive tubing company in Helen, Georgia. Thousands of people go down there in tubes. They, they could be dropping like beers or sunglasses or whatnot. I'll take any of those, honestly. So, let's give that a shot. Alright, but I found something good. <laughs> Gosh, these are Oakleys. No way. There's no way these are these are fake Oakleys. These are Oakleys. These are definitely Oakleys. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at these. Alright, so here's our finds from the day. Uh probably about six hours of snorkeling. Among the spinner baits, you can see a clear and obvious victor, and that is the black and silver inline spinner ye uh pink was also pretty popular um but when you really just throw in the amount of power bait rigs i found that is that is the obvious victor lots of power bait rigs are lost uh, but then again that's probably overestimated because it's being fished in the bottom whereas all these other rigs are being fished in the water column uh and of course fly rigs most people fly fishing are wearing waders so they're less inclined to get snagged 
Well, that's all our finds for the day. We probably found like 48 bucks in the Chattahoochee upper WMA. Uh, this could be like 20 or 150 bucks. I have no idea. And uh, these Oakleys are probably like 150 bucks. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Those fish stand no chance. I'm gonna catch all the new species. Uh, which if you're wondering what this stuff is dangling in the tree behind me, that is Spanish moss. I am in Augusta, Georgia right now filming a swamp fishing video. So that'll be probably next video or two. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you want to see more epic content that's not really treasure hunt related, you can check out these playlists or videos here. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time.